Warm Source was designed to replace the elaborate boiler room installations of the past. These outdated systems were typically one-off custom designs that were complicated and expensive to install. Warm Source changes all that. In this short video, we'll walk you through how easy it is to install a Warm Source. The first step in installing the Warm Source is to familiarize yourself with the Warm Board mechanical drawings and the HTP installation manual supplied with the unit. We can see that this home has its 3 quarter inch gas line, half inch water supply, 2 inch PVC supply air and flue, grounded GFI outlet, 3 quarter inch supply and return distribution lines, and a condensate drain per our specification. The first step in your installation is to check your clearances. Refer to the HTP manual for reference. Hang your warm source on the wall using the supplied bracket. The screws must be positioned so they penetrate into the studs. If the stud positions do not match up with the optimum position for the boiler, fasten a sleeper to the studs and then attach the bracket. Warm source weighs about 150 pounds and can be awkward for one person to lift. Using the lifting handles, place the warm source up into position and hang it from the bracket. After hanging, fasten the bottom of the warm source to the wall. The air intake and exhaust are attached to the top of the unit with hose clamps. Be sure to use a supplied transition fitting on the exhaust side before going to a 90 degree bend. Attach the gas supply and test for leaks. All rough-ins are positioned per our drawing for ease and speed of installation. The plumber will need to plumb the supply and return connections as specified in the warm board mechanical drawings from the warm source to the manifolds. In this example, the plumber has pipe for two manifold locations. Prior to soldering the union connections, remove the O-ring and then replace once the soldering is complete. Now connect the distribution lines to the bottom of the unit. Refer to the warm board mechanical drawings to install the water supply assembly. This includes a backflow preventer, a pressure reducing valve, and a half inch ball valve. It is likely that an adjacent water heater will be able to share its condensate drain with the warm source. Otherwise, create a condensate drain as per local code. Prior to purging your radiant system, open the balancing valves on all manifolds throughout the home. Filling and purging the system needs to be done one manifold at a time. Close all return ball valves and make sure the supply ball valve is open. Place a hose on the hose bib of the return distribution line and open the hose bib. Open the main water source. Flip open the fast fill lever on your automatic fill valve. Allow the water to run until the water coming out of the hose is free of air. Close the hose bib and fast fill lever. Repeat for each manifold return line. When done, close the hose bib, open the ball valve, and remove the hose. Verify that the pressure at the pressure gauge inside the warm source is accurate. To test and operate the system during construction, put the warm source into construction mode. This incredible feature allows you to heat the structure before the home is finished. Simply plug the construction mode jumper into a sensor port and the boiler will fire. Once the system is operating, check the flow rates at each manifold by adjusting the black knobs beneath the red caps. Flow rates for each loop should match what is noted in the warm board comfort system design drawings. Once all the system components have been installed, simply remove the construction mode jumper on the warm board reset controller and the system will be ready to go. It's that simple and you'll notice it took far less time than a conventional installation. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit warmboard.com.